Hi guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha coming at you live from outside of Charleston, South Carolina. I am super excited to share some things with y'all. First of all, I know this seems a little tight around my neck, but y'all, I always got to do this. I'm sorry. So this is a new shirt. Um, I want y'all to know it's a large. Like, I'm really excited. It is, it's a little snug, you know, I'll say that. It's a little bit snug, but it's a large, guys. Like, Hey, Mary, like I haven't been in a size large t-shirt in forever. Hey, Madonna. So I'm pretty proud of the fact, hey, Vicky, that I got into a size large. So that's kind of cool. Want to share that with you guys. Hey, Debbie. So I have my little Aver, Aver Paver. She's going to be my taste tester today. And my daughter, she's also going to do some taste testing. I have some amazing product I'm going to share with y'all today. So say hey. 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 Say hi. <laughs> so what I'm starting with is I am just starting out with Hey Cleveland, some um, my friend Hey Tanya, some regular queso. I'm gonna pop that in the microwave. Hey Kimber, and we're gonna do some microwave action. Y'all know I am the microwave queen, and I'm also on my stove top gonna make a nice warm salsa of my very own. So I'm super lazy, not just lazy keto, just a lazy girl in general. So I went ahead and I bought these things, already diced and sliced to come at you live because who's got time for chopping? I know I don't. You got time for chopping, Avers? I ain't got time for no chopping. My daughter's the best shopper. Like she does all of my shopping. So how many of y'all like some queso? Some, 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 um, these are so great. Some um, Mexican goodness. We're going to make some Mexican goodness. And I did promise you guys it was going to be keto. So, of course, all things are keto when it comes to this. So, I'm hoping you guys can see pretty good with this. I mean, light it because y'all know I'm cooking with gas. Hey, Belinda. One of these days I'm going to have like a little fire going on in here. I hope not, but we'll see. Okay, so let me turn this so y'all can see. I'm just going to take my pot. That's right, Avers. I'm going to take my pot and I'm going to put a little bit of onion in there. We'll just say ish. Y'all know how I measure. So, we'll just put, you know what? I'm just going to put the whole thing. So, oh, you can take her. She's hungry, y'all. She don't want to wait. I was going to let her taste test, but she don't want to wait. We'll come back and taste test. Come back and taste test. It'll be ready by then. Bye, everybody. Tell her bye. Say bye. Say bye. Hey, Alyssa. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, sweet pea. <laughs> give, me, uh, give me that can real quick. By the way, before she walks out of the door with one of my little it's things. delicious. She says it is delish. Um, hey, Michelle. I'm a big right. mango lover. She's a big mango lover. This is Zevia. Um, it's zero calorie energy drink, mango ginger. But it's just another Zevia option with no sugar, it's no like carbs. A soda. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Monet. It's like a soda. So we just have our however much onion and pepper that you want is just fine. And I have one of these um, copper skillets, so it's super nonstick. Just for a smidge of flavor, you can add a little butter if you want. It's not required. Y'all, the lighting in here is just something else. I'm going to turn all the lights off because I have so much light going in so many directions. Hey, Christina. If Layla Pell is watching, hey, little Layla. Nene loves you. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Pamela. So, basically, all I've got going on here first is um, some onions and peppers sauteing. They're a little dried out, so what I'm going to use instead of butter, butter is a lot of calories in it, and we all know avocados are great, so I'm going to use just a smidge of avocado oil there. Probably a tablespoon. Hey, Belinda. Um, so that's just going to mix it up really, really nice. That cooks at a very high temperature. Not a problem at all. For those of you just jumping on, I am wearing a size large shirt. I am super, super proud. This shirt is me, right? Y'all need Jesus, right? Not only does it have the right statement, my kids bought it. However, uh, hey, Kathy, can't find the Zevia. Uh, go to their website, Kimber. But this shirt is a size large. Yes, I said size large. Hey, Brittany. So I'm really excited to wear this shirt, although it's still a little bit snug. You know, I like mine just a little looser. Um, it is a size large. So I'm super excited about that. So the thing that you want to worry about when it comes, not worry about, because we don't want to worry. Have I tried the avocado butter? I have not, Monet. I'll have to do that. Hey, Gloria. I'm just going to put some um, 
pink Himalayan salt. If you're doing keto, you need pink Himalayan salt. Sodium is your friend, and pink Himalayan salt is natural. Hey, Barbara, and super good. Y'all like that shirt, right? So the other thing that you can do is put just a smidge of water. We don't have to have everything like super all on fats. You know, we can have fats, of course, but we don't really don't want to burn it out and, you know, wear that out. Sorry, guys, this lighting is ridiculous. Hey, Raven. Aw, thank you, Kimber. I'm working on a girl. I am working hard on that. I do want to be a healthy girl. So I'll tell you what else I have um, while this is simmering. So what you want to be careful of with onions doing keto is you really want to watch um, to make sure you don't caramelize them. Because when you caramelize them, hey, Lindy, hey, Jamie, when you caramelize them, that's when it makes the sugar. So you want to be a little careful with that. So we're just going to get them almost done. Because remember, this is going to be a hot salsa. Thank you so much, Raven. I love sharing my story. Some people just are, are so amazed. They're like, this girl was in prison a year ago? Are you kidding me? Yes. So if you haven't seen my story, send me a message and I'll get you over to my YouTube. Hey, Laura. So the other things I'm going to put in there. Um, of course, I have some leftover chopped tomatoes. We don't want to use a lot of tomatoes, but of course I like a little tomatoes. So that's probably maybe a half a cup. Hey Donna, because we're going to make our own little salsa. Nice little chunky salsa. So I know salsa is historically done cold, but is there a reason for that? Like, I don't know. Why wouldn't you want salsa nice and warm? So that's giving it its nice good color. Thank you, Jamie. I love the shirt too. It's my new fave. And I'm going to tell you guys about this product. It's Heinz No Sugar Added. I'm going to use it just for a little flavor. It has one gram of carbs and that's for a whole tablespoon. Yes, Monet, I am the dirtiest, laziest ketoer you ever did hear of. And that's about a tablespoon. I am just so... Like, I'm so lazy, I don't even chop my own onions and peppers. You know, it's just, that's, that's just who I am. So, I have learned with keto, you just live who you are. Now, for those of you who likes um, jalapenos, those are also a good keto choice. Um, this is the other Zevia drink. I don't know how much energy it gives you, but it's just another little drink. This alternative is zero, no artificial sweeteners, and it's a raspberry lime. Um, we found those on our trip, which are awesome. Monet, if it wasn't lazy, dirty, I don't know how to do it. Like, I, the, my first month, I thought I was strict keto, for real. It was ridiculous. Once I got into those strict keto groups, I learned real quick, hey, Melissa, that just because you track a carbohydrate and have an app does not make you strict keto at all. So, I found that out really quick because those girls were fast and hard to tell me. The keto police said, woo, woo, I'm coming to get you, girl. So they came and they got me and I was like, y'all, I got to go. So if you want to be a part of an amazing group that is not full of keto police, that are full of amazing, loving, encouraging, inspiring women just like me, comment group below. I will get you in. Now, let's talk about other goodness. All right. So, of course, hot sauce. I like red hot. Some of you who like hotter sauce might want to go with something even hotter. Again, never assume when it comes to a label. These are, this one's zero carb. Red hot. Um, let's see. Frank's brand I particularly like because it has the hot taste without the hot temperature. Um, this is also, I think it's Herdez. Herdez? Um, it's a guacamole salsa. So, y'all know guacamole is good. This one actually is a little hot. Hey, Sue. And if y'all are loving this, please share it to a keto group because that's that's the goal. Let's share to everywhere. Sharon is Karen. So, if y'all love watching me and y'all want me to take my time out every day to come and see y'all's beautiful faces and encourage you and love on you, let's make it bigger than ever. Let's tell everyone how to really keto. Let's tell everyone that you don't have to strict keto. Let's tell everyone to throw their scales away. Hey, Debbie. So, um, I don't know about y'all, but I went, I'm going to tell you my little story. My granddaughter called me Gammy, so I went shopping online. And I had bought a size 5X shirt. 5X. Now, granted, it was big on me. 
but I bought a 3X and it was not big on me. So, hey Marla. So, that was last year. Thank you so much for sharing, Raven. That was last year. Oh, hopefully I'm not frozen. Let me turn my laptop off just in case to make sure we don't have any interference. Thanks to my lovely company home telephone. So, um, I hope I'm not frozen anymore. I lost a few of you. So, the thank you. Yay! So, the shirt that I bought that said Gammy on it was a 3X. This is a size large. Hey, Christine. And so, the fact that I can even get a size, I know it's not perfectly fitted and it's still a little snug, but just keep in mind, I am also a size G in bra. So, I got a lot to fill out in a shirt. But for me to be able to get a large on is phenomenal. Oh, I'm so glad, Vicki. Yay. So, um, it's phenomenal that I can even get a size, size large shirt on. So, I'm super, super excited about that. So, let me see if I can find a glass dish because y'all know I like to rock that way. So, I'm going to get a glass dish and we're going to make just like a little bowl of goodness. So, in the microwave, remember, we have our, um, our stuff. Y'all, hold on one second. <laughs> Y'all, we live in the country, and, um, I am seriously going live because I do not like a bug of any sort ever, so I had to kill it. If there is a mosquito in the room, y'all know I have to kill it, so... Sorry for the pause, a little commercial break for, we live in the country, so we got to take care of business. Okay, y'all are so fun because y'all don't even mind. So, I have to give a big shout out to my kids because they help me make all this happen. They buy my good stuff, they buy my foods, they bring everything to me. Alright, so I've got my salsa stuff in here. And y'all are wondering, like, what is she going to dip in this? Y'all wait, I haven't even gotten to that yet. So, I'm going to take my salsa and I'm going to put it in my clear dish. This looks really good, by the way. Super amazing. Smells amazing, too. I never know, like, yesterday, I microwave pork rinds. Like, I never know if my live's going to be five minutes long, a half hour long, ten minutes long. It's just whatever I come up with. I'm very un orchestrated. So, that is the salsa. Just here to say. That is some goodness right there. The onions are just still a little crisp. Hey, Hope. How you doing, girl? So, I love that. And as y'all can see, this is melting up quite nicely. I'm just going to give it a little stir. So, when you buy fresh queso, it's kind of crumbly. So when you stir it, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. When you stir it, it's kind of stirring in a crumbliness. If that makes sense. Kind of like maybe a ricotta, something along those lines. I haven't used this particular brand of cheese before. So we're going to see how it works out. Hopefully good. Let's try it out. Yeah, it's very crumbly. So, I want to try to smooth that out. So, we're going to put it back on for another two minutes. Let that do its thing. Like I said, I've got guacamole sauce. And I also have guacamole. Yummy. I buy the... Aww. So, it's gone bad. So, my guacamole is not going to happen. That has to go. Because I don't like eating some old. Hey, Grace. So, let's see. We could also put avocado in this. Tons of stuff we could put into it. So I'm going to use this salsa. Get a, just a, a, and this is how I cook, guys. Like, literally, I'm just taking a spoon of this and a spoon of that. So I'm just going to take that green guacamole salsa and mix it in there. Put a little bit of the Red's hot sauce. So about half a teaspoon of the Red's, a teaspoon of the guacamole salsa. Give it a try. So good. I mean, this is my son's concoction. He takes ranch and um, hot sauce and mixes it together. So why not? I'm all about putting a nice little squeeze of that in. 
because that ranch has always got a little zing to it, right? Y'all drop me a one below if y'all like some Mexican food and miss it on keto. Yeah, that's going to be great. Super great. So, I know y'all are wondering what I'm going to dip with this, right? I have a solution. Hey, Vicki, it is not pork skins. I know a lot of you are thinking that girl is going to pull out a pork rind any minute. She did pork rinds yesterday. She's going to pull out a pork rind. I am not. I've got a new product that I am debuting today, so y'all are, are, are in the right place. Hey, Sandra. So, y'all are about to see some greatness. This is very, very hot. I'm not sure that I'm liking the way this is kind of meshing. So, I think what I'm going to do, let me see if I like that. I'm not sure if I like this cheese. It's a little chunky. I don't know why it's chunky. Maybe I should um should have mixed it. It tastes good, though. So, I like to put a little bit of that in over here. Christopher, come kill this. So the bug came back to life. I got to get rid of it. My son is going to extradite the little beetle out of my life. Kill it. It's right there. <laughs> Y'all, anybody else hate bugs? Right. So, come on over there, right there. He's trying to get away from me. Not going to happen. So I just have the cheese melted right there. So we're going to stir that up just a little. Thank you, sir. We're successfully getting rid of that. So y'all can see it was actually it's actually a little chunky. So I'm not sure if it's because I've microwaved it. Not enough. Let's microwave just a little bit and see if that helps. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start with what we're going to put on it. Y'all, this is Quest Protein Chips. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Monica. We're about to try these out. They are protein chips made by the company Quest. Is on a mission to make you make the foods you crave work for you, not against you. I love their motto. I think it's absolutely great. It's five carbohydrates. One of them is dietary fiber. So that's four grams for the whole bag, guys. Hey, Miss Michelle. So it's for the whole bag, four grams. There's no way I'm gonna eat this whole bag. So let's check it out. Do you have your hand out? Y'all, oh, smells good. All right, hold on. Wait for it. Y'all see little hands coming in the screen, right? Oh, they're ranch oh. flavored? They are. Yeah, they're ranch flavored. I didn't even notice that. So they are ranch flavored. They do have sour cream, uh, cheddar and sour cream, sour cream, barbecue. Oh, do you make a mess in the microwave? <laughs> y'all hear him, right? He's fussing at me because y'all want to know why. Because he helps me out and keeps me straight. I gotta clean it. Because he's gotta clean it. We'll just be honest, right? He's gotta clean it. Alright, so this cheese is not like stringy, it's just chunky. So I think we probably should use another cheese, but it's all good. It tastes good though. I don't know how the restaurants get that queso to be so good, but heavy whipping cream. Hmm? Huh? Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. That probably would work. So I would probably mix it up in a mixer. So Let's get ourselves a little, we're just going to get a chip and some dip. All right, so I'm going to dip for him and we're going to do a taste test. So they look good. They smell good. Let's see how they are by themselves. Hey, Karen. Mmm, they're crispy. Y'all, it tastes like a Dorito. No lie. Yeah? It does taste like a Dorito. <laughs> does it? <laughs> y'all, I think, I think we have a winner. Okay, so let's do a little scooping. How many of y'all love to scoop? You miss your chips. I think he misses his chips. Hey, Diana. All right, so I'm just going to put some on my chip. Whoop. Where did you get these from? <laughs> That's what you picked up at Walmart. I did order these from Walmart. I'm going back to Walmart. <laughs> yesterday, y'all, we broke Walmart. Okay? So, for those of you who were on here yesterday, y'all saw I had the microwave pork rinds. Everyone went to Walmart.com. Well, there's none left. So, let's break Walmart again. I don't get paid for this, by the way. I just love to do it. Quest. Quest Protein. Q-U-E-S-T. 
This is the ranch one. Y'all, this is good. So let me try the cheese. Do y'all miss? Y'all drop a three below if you miss dipping. Mm -hmm. That is perfection. Like, that is so good. Chris, you have to try it with the cheese. So, yes. I have so missed. But this, miss no more. Quest tortilla style protein chips ranch flavor. Four grams of net carbs. This is a win, guys. Hey, Rosie. Super win. I am very pleased, very pleased. I miss my dipping. You can dip this in just any, any old thing that you prefer. You find what you like, whether it's making your own little salsa or it's just a cheese dip, right? Raven, Michelle, y'all all miss dipping. So you can buy these like in a big, I bought a single bag because I wasn't sure if I'd like them. I'm going to go back and it's like $17 for like a big thing of them. And, well, I think that's a box of six. So they're about $3 a bag. Eat the whole bag, be okay. Sure, Karen, it's only four grams and the calories are 140. That's for the whole bag, guys. So that's not a bad deal. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about what's in them. So, for those of you who are dairy sensitive, this is not the product for you. It does have um, protein blend, milk protein isolate. Y'all know I use whey protein isolate a lot for breads and stuff. Um, a little bit of cornstarch, sunflower oil. So, buttermilk powder, not that mix. Psyllium husk. I've used psyllium husk. Y'all, these are so good. Now, where at? Missed that part. Walmart. So, we broke Walmart.com yesterday with the pork rinds. Let's see if we can break them again with the Quest chips. Not all things that say, you know, like I bought some sort of something, some other kind of chips, protein chips, and I didn't look, and it was like 26 grams for the whole bag. I said, I can't do that. What are we, what, what, what? No. And it was, oh, I know what it was. It was jicama chips because, you know, jicama is really good. I don't know what they put on that thing, but it made it real bad. These are super good for you. For the whole bag, it's 140 calories, four net carbs. They're called Quest, Q-U-E-S-T. Mix the cheese and salsa. Let's do it, girl. I'm down. Let's do it. We're going to mix the cheese and the salsa. And I just so happen to have a nice little tray. Y'all, Taco Bell gave me this when I ordered a taco with no um, tortilla. Just so you know, that's really good. So you go to Taco Bell and you get this nice little perfect size serving dish. People think you eat a lot of food on keto. You really don't because you're not that hungry. But this little bowl of no carb, well, low carb, keto goodness is amazing. You get the meat, you get the cheese, you get the uh, lettuce, you get the tomato. You can have them add guacamole, sour cream. Excellent, excellent option at Taco Bell. The what? Bacon. Bacon. Love those bowls, right? All right, so let's do the mix. Mix a little cheese with a little salsa. Y'all, I don't know about y'all. Share this thing out. People need to know. They need to know what kind of goodness is available. Plus, you could bake these. Like, you could have the melted nacho cheese thing going on. I have a little air fryer. I might do them in that. Where my chips go? I had to watch make sure my boy didn't take these chips. All right, so let's try it with the cheese and the salsa. <laughs> Win, guys. Total win. I love their hashtag. Hashtag on a quest. No added soy. They're baked, never fried. Gluten-free. I can't see anything really wrong with this. Unless you're dairy sensitive. Then you want to you wanna kick that. Kick it out of there because you don't want to get the dairy. But, y'all, this is so good. So, please share this out. And if we're not friends, just tap on my face. Let's become friends or follow me. And let me help you in your keto journey. Oh, for those of you who are interested, we have, right now, me and my little crew of people, have an amazing 15-day fat-burning challenge. If you're interested in it, please send me a message. It's super easy. All you have to do is get a little kit. Hey, Beverly. But it's a 15-day fat-burning challenge. Message me for details. I'll be happy to tell you. If you want to be part of a group, comment group below. If you're not friends with me or following me, please do so and just tap on my face and we can be friends and let's spread the keto goodness. Let's spread the word. Let people know and 
put it all out there. Y'all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Over and out from Keto Gammy on Instagram, hashtag Keto Gammy. And also, that's one word, K-E-T-O-G-A-M-M-Y on YouTube. Please subscribe. If you want to know no more about me and my story, please send me a message and I will send you a link. Y'all are wonderful as always. Have a great day. Bye.